Hello everyone and welcome to the third part of tutorial of how to model a washing machine. So uh, this is uh, where I left you last time, uh, the second part. Um, I want to do some more uh, adjustment to this uh, circle area of our washing machine. Um, so press 1 to exit the smooth preview while it's selected. Right click choose vertices. Now I'm gonna choose everything here in the middle uh, like those uh, vertices of this inner circle okay this circle here now we also uh, chose those vertices over here so I will just uh, move my camera that way hold down control and mark select everything here to unselect any unwanted uh, vertices here and then we will switch to scale tool now if the scale tool is positioned here the pivot for it so that means that nothing else uh, is selected that we don't want only this vertices in this area now just for example if I will select one more vertex here so you can see it moves so this indicates you that uh, the scale tool is uh, the vertices that we wanted to select is uh, somewhat uh, like we wanted, okay. Um, now, uh, using this uh, yellow cube here, I'm going to expand this. So also you can see that when I'm expanding, it doesn't expand in other direction, only that way, okay. Um, to this, uh, it stays at the same uh, level as the rest of this shape here, okay. The faces here and just expand it so it will be somewhat like this so it near uh, it's almost touching these edges okay and then we will bring in our uh, part that we uh, duplicated uh, at the first part of this tutorial so let's bring this over here and I want to expand this a little bit so same expand this that way and yeah uh, something like that then right click on it choose edge double click on the inner edge circle so it will look select everything click extrude switch to move tool and pull this that way and then switch <coughs> sorry switch to scale tool and make it like so now you can bring it back a little bit like that and then go over mesh fill hole so it will fill this hole right click choose face grab this face edit mesh and poke this face okay after we poke this right click choose face let's grab all these faces and by the way make sure that in edit mesh the keep faces together is assigned with V if not click on it so it will be and then go over mesh and extract so now there is two pieces for this place press F8 once or twice to bring it back to object mode grab this piece and now hold on the shift right click and insert edge loop we will add one edge loop here like that and one edge loop down here okay and let's press F8 to bring it back to object mode and press 3 to see how it looks okay so it's moved okay um, press 1 to exit the smooth preview and now we want to um, extrude this to make it a little bit thicker so while it's selected and in object mode click extrude and push this um, uh, blue arrow here that way so it will be a little bit thicker and press F8 to bring it back to object mode and that's cool now grab this thing and right click choose edge double click this outer edge here click extrude switch to move tool bring it just a little bit back that way and extrude again switch to move tool again extrude it more like that and press F8 to bring it back to object mode hold down the shift right click 
insert edge loop we want to add one edge loop here one edge loop here and one edge loop here okay then right click choose face I want you to grab this face this face and this face here and extrude them out so switch to move tool after extruding it and bring it like so then right click choose face grab this face here sorry only this face and extrude it that way okay press F8 to bring it back to object mode now um, we want to uh, press 3 to see how it's moved so it looks like this right now okay and press 1 to exit the smooth preview um, I want to add edge loop so hold on the shift right click insert edge loop we will add one edge loop here and one edge loop somewhat here okay and then press F8 to bring it back to object mode and 3 to see this so it looks like this right now um, you can easily take this and grab those faces and extrude them tap on one of those cubes do something like that extrude it once again tap on one of those cubes and create another frame and then right click choose face let's grab these faces extrude them but this time switch to the move tool and bring them a little bit inside and extrude once again switch to the move tool bring them a little bit more inside press F8 and now 3 so we got something that looked like this and that's okay and if we smooth preview also this it will look like that so we can grab those two and um, you know what before that let's grab this piece press 1 to exit the smooth preview let's grab this outer edge here extrude it switch to scale tool and grab this middle yellow cube and extrude it a little bit that way extrude it once again again switch to the scale tool and we will do this that way and extrude once again switch to the scale tool and just a little bit more so basically I uh, created those supporting edge loops at the same time so we don't need to add more edge loops and press 3 and let's grab these two and bring them over here okay so now about the um, washing machine uh, body um, if we will press 3 and smooth preview you can see that here we can we have some nice rounded uh, front but we don't want this front to be also here so I will press 1 and hold on the shift right click insert edge loop I will insert one more edge loop here so it will be a little bit smooth but just a bit nothing too much okay not like here and cool now um, select this and we want to come here and right click choose face grab these three faces here extrude them bring them inside like so okay just so we will have a little bit more details by the way it's in smooth preview mode so uh, press 1 to exit this for now and also uh, let's make sure these are really touching this area okay um, okay so this okay let's let's create some more panels and stuff like this um, I'm going to add edge loops one here okay and one here like that so I have those faces right now which is these faces those three faces extrude them tap on one of those cubes screw them that way screw again that way 
and maybe a little bit less so we will have nice frame here even frame right click face let's grab these face faces here extrude them and we want to bring these inside a little bit again extrude inside just a bit an F8 to bring it back to object mode now if I will smooth preview it it will look like this so uh, we will have to, again to add more edge loops insert edge loop one edge loop here that way see I'm bringing those like that creating those that way and if I press 3 now it looks somewhat okay Okay, so we have this like that, and here we will grab these faces, make sure we switch the keep faces together off, through this, tap on one of those cubes, so now we are creating basically three, uh, like this, but somewhat this face has become a little bit strange, so, so I will maybe do it manually like that try to match this and then grab those three again make sure that keep faces together right now is turned on and extrude tap on one of those cubes make frame extrude again make a frame then right click choose face grab this face double click this face grab this face double click this one then do the same for this extrude switch to move tool bring it a little bit inside extrude again move tool and a little bit more inside so press 3 so now you can see we have three buttons uh, you can decide to add more uh, edge loops here in order to maintain them and create them squarey but I think that that's okay okay and this is it for this part so we'll continue at the next part and see you by now